Hey, it's Kevin Randolph once again. Hey, so I had the latest issue. I came uh, back in from fishing, parked my jet skis outside in the middle of the night, four o'clock in the morning. It's one's alarming off, man. Neighbors are outside in their jammies, four o'clock in the morning. So, buddy's like, hey, dude, what's going on, dude? So I go out and I look at this thing. All I could do is disconnect the battery. And re I reset this thing. What's happening is the computer is saying that the key is in and it's not in. I know that. Now, how is this happening? Well, first thing I do is I'm going to check the fuse boxes. I'm going to look for connections, corrosion. This is salt water. Things go to crap in salt water. There's no doubt about it. So, But then all of a sudden, I had the same issue with my motorcycle. Unreal. I go ahead and I go to start my motorcycle, then the lights don't come on. Well, the motorcycle's made to, you know, they turn the lights off as you're starting it. Start, motorcycles start better that way. That's just a feature that, that's in there. But then the lights stay off. Ah, this almost sounds like a corrosion issue. Florida. Plastic polymers melting. I'm a thermoplastic injection molder, master molder, module two guy. If you know anything about thermoplastic injection molding, I, I'm an expert on that. But it's besides the point, inside the motorcycle, inside that switch in there is the starter switch. So it's almost like the jet ski. But that's a magnetic uh, component. But the same kind of issue. If the lights are turning out, there's there's a problem here. It's not a contact being made. Something's not being contacted, okay? The copper, the slides, the bars. Okay, so what happened was I opened it up. Inside there's a, a, a there's a bar that holds the copper slide for the ignition. Go ahead and I look at that thing, it's warped, man. The sun, the heat warped it, the polymer, the orientation, it came out of orientation. It's going to natural orientation, so we gotta bend this thing back down. So I got a spacer inside, I clamp it down inside, pushes down on the slide. Now when I go ahead and push the button, I can slide and say start, and then release and say, okay, now turn the lights on. What's happening to the jet skis like the same thing? What's happening is it's alarming out in the middle of the night and neighbors are coming out. Sounds like a, alarms are going off. But what it is, is the computer saying the key's in there. So there's a contact issue somewhere. So I'm going to look into the ignition on that and take care of that. Because a motorcycle would have been about $250 took to shop. Hell no. It cost me less than a dollar. I had to get a screw, found a screw in my warehouse in here. If Home Depot don't got it, I got it. I got the screw that works. Okay, been collecting screws for a long time. Now on this issue, I'm gonna go ahead and take the ignition apart. I guarantee I got some corrosion, OEM issue, PMED issue, all kinds of ladders. I'm gonna check all these uh, 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 modules and components and wires and reds and blues and yellows that connect this to the ignition to make that magnetic thing so you can fly off. So I go ahead and I go to start it without the key and it starts, see? It should not start. But then it goes off right away. So the computer say, wait, the key's not in there. The guy flew off already. No, he was never on it to begin with. Quit turning on my uh, buzzer in the middle of the night and waking up the neighborhood. Kev, Randolph, sign out, sign out. Support your veterans, your military. Love you guys. Working on the ski, another issue. But we'll, get, we'll, we'll roll over it like a tank. Kev, sign out, see you.